So here we are, we're going to La Fortuna from San Jose. We're actually taking this van that we rented. It's gonna cost $200, so let's go. Like I just said, we're headed to La Fortuna, which is home to Arenal Volcano, which is one of the most popular travel and tourist destinations in all of Costa Rica. On the way, we're gonna go by uh, the Volcano Poas. Uh, it's not open, but we do show you guys the coffee country and also where Starbucks actually grows its coffee. We drive right through there. Uh, we go by some waterfalls, and then we finally arrive in La Fortuna after about three hours. So there's lots to do and see in this video, so let's get going. So this is us just heading in the mountains north of San Jose. This is actually the coffee country. At this elevation, you're around 7,000 feet. It's high up there and you can feel it in your lungs and shortness of breath especially if you're not used to uh, being at these high altitudes. So here we are about halfway up uh, the volcano Poas. Po uh, we're at a coffee plantation. As you can see right down here, they've got a whole coffee farm. So we're gonna try some of the locally grown coffee and see just how good it tastes fresh off the farm. So we've got a shot of espresso here. I'm not a big fan of acidic coffee, so that's really what I'm looking for is not too much acidic uh, acid in the coffee. Now that's some real smooth, real smooth. I think one of the most important things about coffee is its freshness. And when you come to a farm like this, you get, you know, fresh coffee. And uh, I think that helps with the taste a lot. So here we are buying the tickets, boletos, for Poas Volcano. Let's go inside. So Poas Volcano actually is kind of closed right now. It's 10.30, the next tour they're doing is at 12 o'clock. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep pressing on. All right, so you can see we're driving a very windy road that pulls off the backside of the mountain, which is a volcano, as you head down into the valley where La Fortuna is. And it was rainy this day, so we couldn't see Arenal Volcano. Uh, it actually only made an appearance the one time we were there. Costa Rica is full of waterfalls and there's definitely no shortage of waterfalls near La Fortuna.
So in this area, we have a waterfall. This one here is called La Paz. If you go up the mountain a little bit, they have four more that you can actually stop at. So this is up top on the mountain near Poas uh, Volcano. And after we get down the back side of the mountain here, we come into an agricultural area. This is where a lot of the produce that is consumed in the United States is actually grown. Lots of oranges, uh, pineapple, some papaya. Big agricultural area right here in between the volcano of Poas and La Fortuna. What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from La Fortuna near Arnal Volcano right here in Costa Rica. Let's go. Got some tequila here. You know something interesting about tequila, they said that uh, the reason you lick the salt, it opens up the tongue so that when the tequila actually goes down, it hits you pretty much right away. That's what the salt does. And then the lime, you take that after because that closes back up the pores. Uh, they say that tequila is an, uh, it's a non-depressant alcohol. I don't know exactly, but that's why you get salt and lime. With Tacos. La Fortuna is a small town. There's not a lot of people who actually live here, but it does get a lot of out-of-towners, people who are backpackers or people who want to stay in these boutique hotels or even high-end hotels. With that being said, they have a lot of activities, outdoor activities, river safaris, where you do whitewater rafting, zip lining. They also have canyoneering. They have ATV rides around Arenal Volcano, hikes. It's a really an outdoorsman's Disneyland for adults. You gotta come here if you like to get outdoors and see nature.
When you come to La Fortuna, the thing I will say about the weather here is it's a bit bipolar. Uh, one second is sunny, the next thing you know, clouds start rolling in, and in comes the big rain. And when that happens, a lot of the tours don't happen because of flash floods. So uh, just be aware of that. Most of the year, nine months out of the year, is really rainy season. They get three months in the summer that's not rainy season. area where some of the finest coffee in the entire world is grown uh, as you guys know Starbucks grows its coffee right here in this area of Costa Rica if you don't believe me look up starbucksfarms.com and you'll realize that the coffee from Starbucks comes from here in Costa Rica let's go drink some of that fine coffee So the coffee we're gonna try is here at Arabigos. I actually met the owner at the last restaurant that we were at. He's told me that they have good quality coffee here that doesn't have as much of that acidic taste. It's more sweet and sour, but it's got that really uh, crisp flavor that most people are looking for, not too bitter. All right, so we're gonna try the uh, coffee here. This one doesn't have a sour uh, kick to it, like I thought it might. Uh, it actually has not very citrus sour at all, and smoother than I thought, so I'm happy about that. It's actually a really pleasant taste, and it gives you a kick, so. Kick as in, uh, you know, a little bit of energy. So I'm Definitely uh, recommending this blend of coffee out here at Arabigos. And here we are arriving at our hotel. It was around $45 to $55 a night. I don't remember the exact price, but you get the idea. Great price. All right guys, we're on a tour right now. We're getting a really good local guide to show us around and we're going to a waterfall right now.
Quiero ver el video pelándola. Really good. You can even eat some of the meat. Oh, wow. So we're out here at Arnell Volcano. We're gonna actually hike the lava flow with the local guide here, Angelo. He's a guide in the area. If you guys wanna contact him, check in the comments and feel free to reach out. He's got a van and a four x four vehicle. So uh, this year that we're checking out, lava flow happened in 1968. And you can see it's a distance of 1.2 miles to do the hike. Is it harder? Well, it might take about an hour, hour to get there. It's yeah. about a mile, but no. We'll make it, we'll make it. Anyone no can problem. do it? Yeah. Okay, so we'll find out. Let's go. Angelo was just saying that they use these uh, trees. It's actually a tree. It grows with the root system, but it's a quick stick. It helps with the hold up the fence, but it's actually a tree. They just put the tree in the ground and instantly it just takes root. You don't need any cement or anything. It holds the fence right here, barbed wire. On this hike out here, what kind of wildlife would we find? Well, usually uh, when, when we see, well, when we go to the lava flow and then we check the forest, uh -huh. we're able to see monkeys, toucans, uh, why not a sloth? Have a good chance to see a sloth. Um, the snakes. There's the snakes. two species of sloth? Uh -huh, the two toed sloth and the three toed sloth. The, well, the real difference is the two toed sloth has like brown body yeah. and a, like a Chewbacca face. Oh, a Chewbacca uh -huh. face. Uh -huh. And the Trito has a big smile oh, yeah. and great color. Okay, all right. basically into like a fern gully. It's like another world in here. And here we are at the hot springs. It's actually free to go here. There's a couple that you can go to that you've got to pay big money to get into. This one here just so happens to be free and open to the public. The hard part is finding parking.
Oh, I got a steak right here, a ribeye. Beautiful view of the town and a ribeye steak. So when you guys come to La Fortuna, you gotta call this guy. He's got two trucks. What kind of vehicles? We have a minivan um, and also a 4x4, a Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Yeah, great service, local quality, knows the area, like the back of his hand. You gotta call him. Check the comments, because he's gonna comment on this video, and you guys gotta hit him up. Also, the best gear. 